Hello, everyone. This week we are in Valkenburg, Valkenburg, which is supposed to have one of the coolest Christmas markets around. And we're in front of this big, giant lighted bear. <laughs> we have tickets to go see a few of the cave markets. There's yeah. a Christmas um, town, I think it's called. Mm -hmm. um, I'm excited to get some blue wine and olibolin and really kind of get into the spirit of the holiday. Yeah, I don't know what to expect with it. You really booked all this, so I'm just along for the ride. This is our first Christmas market in the Netherlands. It's this good. is our first Christmas market ever in Europe. Yeah, I think you're right. Setting the bar high, hopefully. <laughs> Let's go check it out. Well, you guys weren't lying when you said there were more hills here. Yeah. <laughs> we just walked up a bunch of steps, and I am not used to that. No, no. The most steps we go up is the house right now. And I can't even go up and down those properly. So. <laughs> <laughs> we're about to go into the Velvet Caves first. So there's two caves we're going to. So the first one is the Velvet Caves, which I don't know how to say in Dutch. Yeah. And then the other one is the um, Municipality Okay. Municipality caves. Okay. So, well, I, I don't know what to expect. All right. First, we're going to do this one. We're right underneath the castle. So, this is a really cool spot. Or ruins, work. anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Tracy, we just finished the first of the two that we're going to today of the caves. Yes, we just finished the Velvet Caves and we're going to head over to the Municipality Caves um, in a moment here. What do you think of the Velvet Caves? You know, I thought it was okay. I was more interested in the carvings and the art on the walls of the cave more than the actual goodies to purchase. Yeah, I agree. The... The stuff that was there, a lot of it was stuff you'd see at like a regular Saturday market and stuff like that. Just mm -hmm. kind of some of the, the flea market-ish type stuff. Nothing that was really amazing, to be honest. Yeah, and you and I don't really buy things for Christmas for each other. And since we don't see our families, we tend to give gifts whenever we make a trip home to the U.S. So 
for us, I mean, there wasn't anything high on our list to purchase anyway, but it was really fun for the novelty of it. I would say go once, but I don't know if you need to go twice. And yeah. that, that first one we went to, what, 30 minutes to go through it? It was not super long. Yeah. Um, I think this next one's going to be a little bit bigger. So I'm excited. Let's yeah, go check let's it out. Go. What did you think of the municipal cave? I thought it was a lot bigger as far as space between the walls, but I didn't feel that it was as long as there wasn't as many shops as I felt. No, no, not at all. A lot of dead ends, a lot of having to turn around. And Definitely retry. a maze for sure. <laughs> but that being said, it was nice to not be so slammed in there. When we were in the first cave, it was like, Sardines. <laughs> yeah, very much so. Wall to wall. But this one, I felt like I could breathe a little easier. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was perfectly nice. Again, one to do for the books. I'm really excited about other Christmas markets in the mm -hmm. Netherlands. And I think next year we need to we need to hop on over to Germany. I hear the German ones are better. Sorry, Netherlands. <laughs> that being said, this one did sell out today. Yeah, it did. So if you are planning on coming... Buy your tickets online in advance because a lot of people were getting turned away. Really mm -hmm. sad. Yeah. So I think we're going to do a little bit more exploring around and then head back towards the station. Mm -hmm. It's getting cold. I can see my breath. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tracy, what is one of the things that really stuck out to you? You were talking about this earlier. Oh my gosh. Such a huge international crowd. We heard German. We heard French. We heard Dutch. We heard English spoken all throughout the markets. And it really draws a crowd of of mm. everyone, which I thought was really neat. The radio station that was playing outside of the municipal markets, it was, it would have ads in all four languages. <laughs> it was really crazy. It was really neat. And I think that's going to take us through the end of our trip to Valkenburg for the Christmas markets. Yeah, we're actually staying in Maastricht tonight, but we're going to have to save that for another video because... I think Maastricht needs its own video. Oh, absolutely it does. Maybe in Carnival. <laughs> anyway, what did you think? I thought it was nice. Actually, I thought the caves were just okay. I think the rest of the Christmas market that's done here in Valkenburg is its own thing that you should just come for that and not even bother paying for the caves. I just like the moment you step out of the station here, you feel transported into this Christmas land, which is my favorite thing. I loved, I don't know if it's lively every night here, but, or just because the Dutch one tonight, mm -hmm. but you know, it's beautiful to walk by all these restaurants and see people cozied up with their glue line and the blankets. And mm -hmm. it's just a very like magical holiday feeling. And, there's it's, something about Christmas in Europe that just feels different. It's it, different. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I am excited to see what the rest of the season brings for us. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to wrap us up. What we'd like for you to do is to tell us in the comments down below, what are your holiday traditions and what do you do around Christmas time so that we can maybe have some new celebrations that we can do for this year and next year. So put this down below. Yeah. We need Christmas dinner ideas. Yeah. All right. Thank you all for joining us this week. If you do have the chance, please like, comment, subscribe. It really does help us out. And we will see, see you, you next week. Next. Bye. Bye.